Hey, MVPs, Rico knows here. Going to talk to you guys about the Alabama futures bet. I believe you should jump on it now. Take the under. Nine and a half is just way too much. Not for all the turnover they've had. Obviously, you lost the greatest coach of all time. If you lose the greatest coach of all time and you don't fall back a little bit, then was he really the greatest coach of all time? Probably not, right? So I think there's going to be a drop-off in performance. I think there's a big issue with talent at Alabama. They just lost five defensive backs to the transfer portal. They lost two to the NFL draft, right? Kool-Aid McKinstry jumps in the draft. Uh, Terrion Arnold jumps in the draft. Uh, they lost Dallas in the draft. They just lost a bunch of studs. Caleb Downs is going to Ohio State. ton of playmakers are gone. A ton of playmakers have departed. And then you look at the offensive side of the ball, and you're like, what the hell, man? Isaiah Bond, gone. Two running backs, gone. Right? And it's just like, who's going to do this? Who's going to carry the load to be a 10-win team or better? You need 10 or more wins. When you go look at their schedule, you definitely see a loss there against Georgia. I feel like Georgia's winning that game. There's just no way around it. I think Georgia's the better team. So at that point, you need to win all the rest of your games. You can only lose one more. I think the fact that they go at Tennessee, at LSU, at Oklahoma, all towards the end of the season, all of those look very problematic on the road. I think you're going to lose at least one of those. And then your home games, Missouri and Auburn, look very daunting to me. Um, South Carolina is not to be played with either. But at the end of the day, it just looks like they're not going to be as dominant and they're bound to lose on the road. They're bound to lose on the road at LSU, at Tennessee, at Oklahoma. Somebody's going to jump up and beat them. It's very possible. We're talking about an Oklahoma team that will be loaded, that did beat Tennessee, Texas last year, who beat Alabama. It's not like Alabama's invincible. I hope they do well. I hope they're 3-0 and when they run into Georgia. But I can see Alabama losing three games, which is what they're going to have to lose. Three games, one on the road, one to Georgia, and then just one other game. I feel like that's going to happen, y'all. They missed a lot. The talent drop-off has been immense, and you're going to have a lot of underclassmen in your two deep because of the recruiting class is the only thing holding that team together, not the depth, not the transfer portal. Even losing a player like uh, Trey Amo, the, the, uh, the secondary kid who transferred in from ULM, like you just got guys that are leaving that used to see the field. Jalen Key, just no depth anywhere. It's It's brutal. There's no depth anywhere. Losing your starting offensive tackle, Proctor, your starting tight end, Nye Black, or at least one of your tight ends, Nye Black, and another tight end to the portal. It's it's looking bad, guys. Yes, they're going to bounce back. The coaching staff's elite, but that's what you're left with. I have Alabama nine wins next year, and the bet hits. Your friends don't know, but Rico knows.